good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. So apologies, I haven't been out for a few weeks because there hasn't been much to vlog to be honest. We've just like been doing some local stuff and doing non-bike stuff. Uh, but today we are fully back on it. We're down in Wiltshire, we're going to do some trails. It's a lovely warm day which makes a nice change. No chance of any rain, woohoo! Um, so yeah, out with uh, Gibbo on the Triumph and myself on the Himalayan again. And uh, since the last time we rode, we've now got intercoms. So we have been chatting to each other today. It makes a refreshing change. Uh, intercoms are really useful. Um, I will tell you the make and the brand and a little bit about them as we go along today. Uh, but basically, Amazon intercoms. And yeah, so far so good. Uh, didn't cost a fortune. And uh, yeah, so I shall let you know how that goes. So come along with us today for the ride around the Wiltshire Trails. So welcome to the first trail of the day. Last time I came down here, it was absolutely soaking wet. This was like the Puddle Lane. Be interesting actually to see what it's like this time of year. Uh, it was proper flooded last time. So uh, let's see how it goes. It's kind of overgrown. Oh, tree. Uh. <laughs> so this bit last time was so deep with water I completely avoided it but you can see how much stuff has dried out so maybe there won't be so many puddles today <laughs> which it's always nice because it means you don't have to wash the flipping bike when you get home <laughs> so uh, this lane should be pretty easy going today uh, I see lots of bomb holes where the puddles usually are but Wiltshire's looking particularly gorgeous, as usual. Always pleases me eyeballs every time I come down here. Thank you. So we go, second part, and this is now leading towards, well, this is the part of the Ridgeway, uh, which you all probably know quite well if you're watching this. Uh, Mark's up front so he can giggle at his expense if he falls off. Uh, not really, only joking. Uh, no, it's just to give him a break from the dust that I was kicking up from my knobbly tires so uh oh saying that yeah thanks for that dude uh, <laughs> of course you can now hear me in my <laughs> on the intercom <laughs> right so i think we're going to probably get up to the top of the ridgeway and stop for a bit of lunch and uh, a drink a pop and take in the view so we will see you up there so here we are on top of the Ridgeway, one of our favourite spots. I'll just ask ground control if we're stopping for lunch. Are we stopping for lunch here? Yeah, I can do. Um, Unless you want to head to that hill fort and we'll have lunch up there. Okay. Okay. Just got to think how to get there. Alright, we'll go, carry on a little bit further and... Um, and go and find a lunch spot. Right, okay, let's go. So last time on this trail I went straight on and that was where I fell off. And I'm just, it put me off that trail for life, which is a bit ridiculous because, you know, you've got to face your fears sometimes, but today I'm not going to because uh, I like my limbs intact and uh, I'll use the excuse that Gibbo is still not on knobbly tyres. That's it, that's my excuse. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to ride the easy trails today and, uh, and just have a jolly nice time. Let's keep it simple. So last time I rode up this trail, I needed it part way because uh, it was like really late in the day, but this was the one with that weird burial site, stone circle -y thing I could see off in the distance. Uh, so I'm going to stop and have another look. Uh, it, was, it turns out it was a like a, a burial site, but I want a proper look at it this time. Now I know it is. Uh, so this trail leads at the side of a race course, training ground type thing. 
Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got the names of all these trails, but if you know this area, you know there's plenty to be riding. So, uh, yeah, it's so good down Wiltshire for all, all these trails. So this trail gets a little bit strange. There's lots of ruts. It's very chalky, so incredibly slippy in the wet. But on a dry day today, not too bad. Still going to get up on the pegs for it. And pick your rut. There we go. Oh, some bricks in this one. Fun, fun. Some other bikes coming down the other way. Ooh. Oh God, I'm really not where I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky choppy! <laughs> yeah, so I've planted myself in a rut and I need to now get out of it because <laughs> otherwise I'm going to end up in that field. <laughs> oh, there we go, we're out. <laughs> of course, you can't see the ruts as well because there's grass over them, so some are going to catch you out if you're not careful. Softly, softly catch your monkey, so Gibbo says. There we go. So we're going to catch monkeys. So if you go slow, you catch monkeys. Okay. So there we go, the ancient burial sites. I will try and do a screen grab of the old OS map and kind of just show you because it's kind of interesting. Is it interesting? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is why I get out on the trails, is just to see the stuff you wouldn't normally see. You know, it's just a little bit out of walking distance. Well, unless you like walking, but I don't really like that. So anyway, I'm waffling. Goodness me. Right, let's go on with the ride. <laughs> Caution speed ramps. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think that's the last of your worries on a trail. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to have to move my camera because I can't see where I'm going. There we go. Oh! Oh, well saved. This has grown, amazing. Right. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get up on the top and, uh, yeah, we'll find a spot. Let's ah, find a little spot. Send a gibbo out in the wild, this is what happens. <laughs> so, we're just sat in having our lunch and we've got a friend. <laughs> you give me crisp. Look, look, what's in there? There's a crisp in there. There it is. Look, here. Ow! We're looking for the dog. <laughs> so Mark has just took the dog back to his owners. <laughs> so that's it. We've had a nice relaxed lunch in the sunshine, watching the aeroplanes flying over, listening to the crickets chirping away and the wind in the trees.
feel very relaxed now, it's nice. So uh, we're just going to carry on now across the ridgeway and take in the views of Wiltshire and the stunning they are, goodness me. I'm on the right hand side, it's really quite stony. And the bike's just. Uh, just take some speed off. Oh, God. Uh, uh. <laughs> Jen nearly came off. <laughs> so, one thing I've discovered on a sunny day on the trails in Wiltshire is the chalk stone is absolutely blinding. I mean, I've got my sunglasses in my panniers, but I'm not going to stop to put those on because I want to be able to see properly as well. But oh, it's just like snow blindness almost. It's not something I've ever really experienced on the trail before. But it's uh, quite different riding in the summer. But yeah, quite a challenging bit of trail this. We've both had our little moments of, uh, ooh, we don't know about this, but then we've got through it and it's been all good. Uh, this is a trail that we've not done before, so it's always a little bit more nerve-wracking, isn't it? It's like Gibbo's just said, it is a little bit more challenging than it, it looks, and uh, but, uh, it's, uh, and breathe. Uh, okay, all good. Off to the left. Smooths out a little bit. Stay left, stay left. Tree root. Drop into the dip. There we go. I do believe we've ridden into Middle Earth. Well done. Are you? <laughs> okay. I'll leave a bit of gap. Okay. the bike out. <sighs> okay, thank you. Oh yeah, good. Oh, and breathe. I'm gonna be sick. Fly <laughs> uh, me mouth. Uh, there we go. Ah, wow, well done. I think uh, Pat's on the back all round for that one.
Should we make some crop circles? <laughs> yeah, let's just go, let's go and create some uh, Royal Enfield and Triumph crop circles. <laughs> So that's it, we're done with Wiltshire for the day, we're, we got tired and now we're riding home but we thought we'd come via Bybury. Always busy, uh, the best ice cream van in the world, there it is. Oh, Every you come to Bybury, have an ice cream. Uh, it's very nice. <laughs> Bybury, famous for the trout farm. There you go. Uh, there's trout, apparently, <laughs> and shed loads of tourists. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a tourist farm, yeah. They like to walk in the middle of the road. <laughs> and still they walk in the middle of the road, there we go. Oh, and there's a car coming in way too fast down here. There's people. Oh, take me away from this hell. Take me back on the top of that hill. Oh, look. It's rabbits. I have to say, uh, say hello to the cows. Hello, cow. Oh. Does it like Royal Enfields? I'm not, don't worry, he's a Neanderthal. <laughs> Bye cows! <laughs> oh more cows! Hi! Oh there's a bull! Oh my god, there's a bull! <laughs> Sharp exit! <laughs> Unfortunately, there's been a terrible accident. I have killed Givo. I think. Are you dead? Yeah. Oh, he's dead. He's officially broken. Okay. So, today we have been running the intercoms, as I said earlier. Yeah. So far, so good. I mean, they, um, they say 700 metres of coverage, and that seems to be about right, actually. We... Uh, there's a few times it went a bit crackly when we got a bit of distance between us, but all in all, they did a fabulous job and they have been on the go. Uh, how long have we been riding? It's got to be six, six hours. Uh, what do you think, dead person? So, <laughs> battery life, um, do you think uh, they've been on the go for about six hours, haven't they? Um, pretty much so, yes. About as, They've lasted longer than I have. Yeah, so... There you go. Yeah, the batteries have lasted longer than Gibbo. So, uh, impressive in itself. <laughs> I mean, I think I, uh, on Amazon, paid about 80 quid for a pair. And um, so far, so good. Really, really top job. Um, Struggle a little bit with wind noise, but I think that's more down to our helmets. Uh, but as for communication, absolutely bang on and uh, proper handy when you're both riding out together. Anyway, I am waffling, but yeah, check them out there on Amazon. Uh, let me uh, do a bit of a close-up so you can see their name. And those are the, like I say, the V6 Pro. Um, super duper if you don't want to spend a fortune. Right, okay, so the bikes again. We've done some tough trails today. Route Alley, I think I'm going to name it. Uh, that was tough. Uh, it's probably going to flatten out on the camera. Um, but yeah, there were some big step ups on that uh, over tree routes. But, you know, both bikes um, have got far more talent than we have. And uh, they did it absolutely no problem. It was just more of a problem in our head. Um, but yeah, we got through it. Fabulous trails. There's more to do down there. So uh, no doubt we'll keep on going down and carry on exploring all these new trails that we keep seeing. Uh, in the meantime, I need to try and revive Gibbo because uh, he's still dead. Um, yeah, so hopefully I will revive him for the next upload. Uh, if not, I'll be riding on my own. How sad will that be? Anyway, catch you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget if you like it, like and subscribe. <laughs> so the dead person just said, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's coming from the dark side. Like and subscribe and hit that notification button.
See you soon. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and the bell notification icon.